Yo, what's up? Today we're back with episode 4 of Journey to Dunking, a series that follows a sad 6 foot tall freshman who cannot dunk at all. So, we're jumping right in with some quick dynamics. We're going to move through this very quickly so we can get to our jump rope warm up, and I'll see you then. And now that we've finished our short little warm up, we transition right into our two foot traditional box jump, right? It's pretty simple. And from my experience, it's a really good jump, jumping movement to kind of warm up with because I'm still trying to get warm here. And before I'm transitioning to some of the more complex moves, I definitely want to make sure I'm 100% warmed up so I don't injure myself. And now that we've finished our first box jumps routine, we're going right into dunking. Obviously, as I've said in some of my previous videos, this hoop, I believe, is a little bit shorter than regulation. But right now, we're just starting off with like a smaller ball so I can kind of get warmed up with the footwork. All right, now that we've finished warming up with this smaller ball, we grab this ball right here. I think it's a little bit under regulation I don't know it might be regulation but right now we're just focusing on kind of the footwork and the explosion out of my penultimate step because to me it, it doesn't matter how high I can jump if I can't transfer into the actual motion of dunking right I'm not going to be able to get anywhere so it's really important I think it's I think it's good to practice palming the ball and actually getting it above the hoop and dunking it no, whether it's with a smaller ball or shorter hoop or whatever. Now that we finish another quick jump rope routine, we move right into single leg box jumps, which I think are very important to have in my vertical workout because in just about any sport, you're not just going to be jumping off of two legs. There are many motions and movements that require you to operate off of one leg. And I think this overall does a really good job of building that strength in your single leg motions. And now we transition back to working on our dunk form, but you guys have already seen this, so I don't want to bore you with another little dunking session. So we'll just kind of skip through this part just so we can get to something new for this video. And after working on dunking, we transition straight into our depth jumps, which is, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. But these are, again, a really good movement for explosive power because it minimizes your contact time with the ground. As you can see on a normal box jump, like I just did right there, you're on the ground, so you have plenty of time to jump. But on a depth jump, you jump down from the box, and then the second you hit the ground, you explode up. And that really is good for your explosive power, I'm pretty sure. 
Again, though, you can hurt yourself with these, so just look into them before you do them, because I'm no expert at all. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. It means a ton to me. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is episode four of a series. So there's three other videos out right now that you can check out. And if you want to, and if you've already watched them and you want to see any future videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload the next episode.